y'all welcome back to another relationship talk with the lords today we're going to be doing relationship questions answering different relationship questions giving our opinions on that and that's it <laughs> all right what's our first question baby <laughs> first question is is love a feeling or a choice hmm is love a feeling or choice? I think that love is both a feeling and a choice. Um, you have that, when you first fall in love with somebody, you have that, you know, that warm feeling inside. You all, you know, want to see them all the time. And you you just always want to be with that person and to take care of that person. And I think as time goes by, you have to choose to either keep loving them or not. Especially when stuff happens in your relationship. I think in the beginning it's a feeling, but as you grow more in your relationship, it's a choice. That's just my opinion. What's yours? Well, since the question says either or, uh, I would go with feeling what I think is more than just a feeling you know okay. um if you want me to dive into it dive into it dive into it baby. oh dive into it well <laughs> if they say God is love then it's more than just a feeling it's an action that you have to go with you have to do so a feeling you can just feel okay and mm -hmm. but it's something that you have to show you have to do so you have to you know it's, it's deeper than just the feeling so there we go so what was your answer is the feeling or choice <laughs> i didn't say it at the beginning okay I, maybe i missed that all right well, it's more than just a okay, feeling. more than just a feeling. All right. If you want to say either or, then I will go with feelings. Okay. Okay. Next question. <laughs> Next question is, hmm, would you be in an open relationship? Open relationship? Nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to think about that one. Nah, uh, what's the point of being an open relationship? Like, I married you to be with you, not to be with you and somebody else. So, no. Yeah. Same here. Okay. Next question. <laughs> Would you be in a long distance relationship? I think I would be, I think uh, at some point right now, we're in kind of a long distance relationship because sometimes because of his job, he's away for a good amount of time. So I think we could be in a long distance relationship. We're not, we're not seeing each other every single day. I think that that's possible. And it makes you kind of miss the person a little bit more too, because you're, you're not seeing them every day. So when you don't see them, you miss them when they come back, you know, you just happen to be together. And you try to make sure you spend as much time and quality time together to kind of make up for the time that you're not together. Well, I would. It don't. It doesn't state that you know you can't. You know, you get technology nowadays. You can see the person. You can mm -hmm. talk to them. You can, you know, it, it's it's catfishing stuff going on. Catfish. Yeah, I would, you know. Like, I make would. sure you see the person. If you're in a long situation, make sure you actually see the, and talk to the physical person. Not just talking on the phone. Like, we, we, we in 2020, you know, saying you ain't got no camera and all that. That's that's foolish. Yeah, I'm a truck driver. I'm, I'm, um, she trying to make out like I'll be like gone for months. I don't be gone for months. You know, some truck drivers seems. be gone for months. You just trying to throw me up on the bus. Like, I'll just be gone. But I'll be coming. I'll be coming back like in a week and two weeks. Longest I'll be staying out three weeks. I'll be going up on the bus. Yeah, 
supposed to slip me? I didn't say I you just said you. that we are <laughs> kind of like that. I think we could be in because of this experience that we're in right now because of your job. That's all I was saying. Ladies, you got you see. Next <laughs> question is how long would you date someone <laughs> before getting engaged? I don't think there's a time limit on, you know, you should date for this amount of time and then you get engaged. Uh, I think it's up to where you are in that relationship. It depends on the people in that relationship. Some people, they date for a month and they get married and they're together for 20 plus years. Some people, they date for 10 years, they get married and then a year later, they break up. So it depends on the people in the relationship. I don't think there's no time. Don't put any kind of time limit on where it is to get engaged. You just have to decide that but it's between the two people in that relationship nobody else they have to decide when it's ready for them so i don't think you could actually put a, a time limit on it it depends on the people in the relationship yeah it depends on the people in the relationship like you can date for what i say if y'all are getting along and y'all kind of know each other and y'all feeling each other out and everything is all good go on and get married it's all about your dedication also. You don't have to wait 15 years, 20 years and feeling person out and just because y'all had up and downs. You're going to go through that after you get married in the first place. You, you, True. Like, so, if you got that feeling and everything is all good, go on and dive into it. And dive, and, dive. And, and don't, don't be giving no ultimatums. And, yeah, don't be, don't be doing that. Like, forcing, if you got an ultimate, forcing you gotta... people to... Like, nah. come on, man. Like, do you, you know, if they not doing what you want them to do, stamp them with a the time and say, hey, you better do this. Like, come on. You don't start off a relationship like that. Yeah, I don't think you should. Like, if you got to give a person an ultimatum, yeah, it's time. Y'all not ready. Like, y'all should come to that agreement together. So I do agree with that. All right, next, probably last question. <laughs> Would you get back together with an ex? They're an ex for a reason. So it's like that was a, a chapter in your life, past tense. It's time to move on. Like that's just my opinion. If you y'all came to a point that y'all broke up, like y'all decide this is it, I think it's time to move on. That's just mine. It, it all depends. You know, because the person is an ex, right? Mm -hmm. And five, ten years down the line, they're a much better person. And you see it, and y'all done tried each other out, y'all clicking. I'm, I'm just saying. I don't know. I don't know about that. I disagree with that. I'm like, mm -hmm. ain't nobody that's in my past that I'm thinking like, oh, nah. See, that's because you got with this sexy chocolate of a man and uh, your mind is just like, 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 for what? I don't got my soul mate. See, that's, that's right, where she at. That's right. That's where she at. I don't see nothing. It was nothing before uh, before right. you and there's nothing after you. Nothing so after. Uh, so in my mind, so what, what, you said you would go with an extent. So what you thinking? I'm just, I'm, I'm amplifying what you said. <laughs> I love how you just like. <laughs> I was your hype man just now. <laughs> all right, all right. All right, all right. <laughs> oh, all right, that was our last question. Do you have another question? Uh, all right, let me see. I want, let me see if there's another question. That All right, Stay, talking about the ex, if your partner still regularly talks to the ex, are they cheating? Ooh. Ooh. So now this is a sticky situation. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Because not every breakup is a bad breakup. Yes. And sometimes you have, you know, you come to a mutual understanding, like, listen, this is not going anywhere. Mm -hmm. I don't think, I think we're better off as friends, not in a relationship. Okay. And then you might part ways, but you might not part ways and with each other, and you might could still remain friends. So I don't think if if he talked to one of his ex, I wouldn't feel like that's cheating. As long as I know about that, you know, relationship that you're talking to an ex, like I know that's just your friend. I'm not a jealous person, but 
I just want to know. I don't want you to just be like going out and having dinner and chilling with your ex. And I don't, I have no idea. I think open communication, as long as your partner know and they're okay with it, I don't think that's you. Well, I'll tell you like this. I don't, I don't know what that said this now, but she just sparked <laughs> something. No. If you with yeah, ex and y'all going out to dinner, Courtney not going to approve of it. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Period. Point blank. That's right. Now, if you went out <laughs> with a friend and what, what something different, you know, but friend what in if, the past, what if the ex or you friend you just met or whatever, huh? of the opposite sex. But the fact of the matter is, it was an ex. Y'all went with each other. You liked them. But if now y'all are friends, like say you dated somebody 10 years ago and y'all broke up, y'all are cool now, y'all all grown adults, like, you know, more mature. <laughs> and now y'all just have a friendship. The ex is a friend now. Is there something wrong with going out and chilling with that? An ex can always be a friend. So you, you, you don't think that you could go out and chill with an ex? If they're just cool. If it's go out a, where? Go out chill. What? What's this chill? And now they got all right. So, so, all right, so maybe okay. Let me rephrase. What if it's in like mixed company, not just you and that person? Like, say somebody you dated in high school. Okay, so then why you have to go out with them in a group setting? Friendly gathering. Why it can't be with? And then I don't got. I'm gonna time for that. You just stop trying to. No. No. <laughs> I disagree. It ain't happening. I disagree with, with that. The I, ex? Think, I think if they're no. friends and you're secure in the relationship that you're in, I don't, I don't, I don't think there's a problem with you going out and just Next hanging question. out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. That's it for us today. I guess that's the end of the video. Um, well, do y'all agree with what we said? Drop your comment below to see what would be your response to some of these questions. That's it for us. Another relationship talk with the noise. Peace. Peace. Bye, y'all.